consulting your files about angry birds is a nice file that I see on it and we can see that it is a painted like photo and we can see we see the testers and now what we see over here is that the photo is perhaps some painted stuff which is not so sharpened so first we are going to the sharpening mode and there we see the sharpen on filter and there are so many options first we take the sharpen only uh, you can say that the photoshop have automatically sharpened it to some extent but we can't recognize it although it is an auto sharpening system so now we are going to see how we can sharpen the photo our own so sharpen and go to smart sharpen uh, that is and what we can see here is so much options that we can manually sharpen our photos we can use the workspace here and we can zoom or in and we can see here radius and amount that two options we see here and we can actually see the changes perhaps very well look at that the photo is really sharpened on all its edges it depends upon your looks onto the photo and your imagination you can choose the Gaussian lens, lens blur or the motion blur it depends upon the type of photo or the type of edit you need on your picture and you can see you can see in the angle and see the, you can exactly see what happening on the photo when the preview is on the top so you can see that the angle is changing the this is on the motion blur and the lens blur and the gaussian blur you cannot change the angle but it is perhaps good to use lens blur or gaussian blur i mostly use a gaussian blur so now we can change get some adjustment and uh, see what we can get here on I'll go to advance and you can also now get so much another important details like shadows and highlights and we can change every details or like shadows and highlights your photo with the help of the advanced sharpening mode on the smart sharpen on the basic mode you only get these two workspace but on the advanced mode as you see lay, uh, before you get two more options so I just put ok and uh, looks good for me and now we can see the difference of the sharpening you know you look to the photo or the image that i take you can exactly see how changes have happened now if i go to a uh, backward step you can see look at that that is a before image and now this is the after image the effect is really amazing it is a true mode of transformation from an old image to a new image and you can see it exactly now we are going to oil paint uh, now exactly most of the people don't know how to take oil paint I don't see see lack of oil paint I don't know why Photoshop do that but CSCs have a good shape of oil paint uh, you can size the brush and the lightning effect brush have styling cleanness and scale and the brittle detail and shine and if you want to give a tight slack looks you should perfectly not i don't prefer shine too much because that makes your photo too much now i'm doing some uh, yeah, effects uh, using this oil paint i'm definitely saying people this is depends upon your photo and the what you need now i am doing on my own look to the photo and you can see how oil paint works it is exactly what you see on the natural the really look at that that is a fantastic affirmation when i decrease the shine and now the cleanness is maximum you should perfectly do that scale as maximum it depends upon the size of the brush you look and the stylization make your details of the photo you should adjust the two or the both top you should perfectly notice this the dilation and the cleanliness is the one that you should adjust to get the what <laughs> details of the photo and the lightning is nothing is just for him now you can see now that is a masterpiece that you see here look at that 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 is amazing look you can see that this is the water sharpened uh, 
this is one after the oil paint that is why this both comes together sharpening and oil paint most of the people take on first oil paint and then do the sharpening but i perfectly do first or sharpening then oil paint now you can see the transformation when oil paint gives some light is reduced that is why i first sharpening the photo so you get the light perfectly on now you can also go to image and you go to adjustments you can see shadows and highlights it is also the same thing that the sharpening and do if you have to oil paint you see that some light is low you can adjust this to some bit more and you can get a perfectly matched image that you need this is amazing uh, the sharpening and oil paint comes together that uh, the photoshop cc the main advantage of photoshop cc is that oil paint uh, see as 5.5 produce some effort uh, photo oil paint but this much of oil paint look at that clarity your image you got now you got a 3d like painting with your photoshop now that is what the uh, for oil paint and once sharpening is all about uh, if you are a basic beginner to the photoshop this is only a five percentage of tutorial that about the sharpening and uh, what i say oil paint because this i do not cover anything much more but it is just for information but the totally sharpening and oil painting is uh, now i'm doing my logo there if you need any more whatever tutorial you about the photoshop please contact me now you can see this is the before and after image and you can see exactly what is happening there thank you for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and like if you need any tutorials comment below i am ready to do that thank you